In this video, we will learn to add the self-completion and course completion blocks to the course. First click turn editing on to enter the editing mode. Scroll down. Expand add a block drop down menu. And choose the course completion status. Notice that the block has appeared on the course page. Now we will add the side completion block. Scroll down. Again expand add a block drop down menu. And drag the sidebar down. And choose the self completion block. Notice that the self completion block has also been added. Now let's edit the settings of the course completion status block. On the settings page, under the overall criteria type aggregation area, the aggregation method has two settings, all and any. By default it is set to all, which means every condition should be checked for course completion. If it is set to any, then it means that the course is considered as completed if any of the conditions are met. Under course prerequisites, this setting allows you to have another course as a prerequisite for completing this course. Enable the manual self-completion checkbox to enable the students to manually complete the course. The self-completion block must also be added to the course prior to achieve the manual self-completion. By selecting the roles here, you can allow the users with given roles to manually mark the course as complete for student. By setting the aggregation method to all, everyone with given roles should mark the course as complete for a student. Setting it to any would complete the course, if one or more than one users of given role have marked the course as complete. The activities completed area shows a list of all activities which have activity completion setting defined. Select the activities which should count towards course completion. Under aggregation method, the all aggregation method means that each of the checked activities must meet their activity completion settings. The any aggregation method means that at least one of the checked activities must meet their activity completion settings. Under date area, if you check the enabled box then you can set a date after which the course will be declared as complete. Under Duration After Enrollment Area, if you check the Enabled box then you can choose the number of days after enrollment, upon which the course will be marked as complete. And Under Grade Area, if you check the Enabled box you can set a minimum passing grade for the course. Then click Save Changes. Now switch to Google Chrome and log in as Student 1 to view Course Completion Status and Self-Completion Block as a student. Notice that now we are logged in as student 1. Also notice the course completion status and self-completion blocks. You can also explore it further as student. Now, open your Moodle site in your computer and implement the exercise before proceeding to the next video.